Hello, everyone. Um, so I took a holiday last two days uh, since it was Ganesh Chaturthi yesterday and uh, Sunday. So actually, I feel like I lost touch with you all. So let us go ahead and check out what is there for today. So we are in the uh, day 26 sourcing and we'll be doing the logo as well because the logo needs a lot and a lot of work more so first the sourcing things i have some exciting news because i finalized the sourcing of one uh, uh, uh one thing this one just a minute where is it so i finalized the sourcing of this one uh the person has agreed i'll just share you the screenshots so that i can you can also know how to talk with the vendors Okay, so I will share you the screenshots. So I have taken a screenshot of all hers. And since I don't know Hindi, I was not able to talk with her. So everything is in, is a screenshots only here. I hope you can see here. So she asked me if I can understand English. I told her, I don't, I don't know, send a voice message. I think she used Google Translate. She's using Google Translate only, I guess, because um, everything has some underline on that. I don't know. So she want, she actually told me that uh, the size of the flower should be less so that we can print it on the size that I need. I uh, Her napkins of, are of the size 20 inches into 20 inches and I wanted 12 into 12 inches. So that's it what we have done here. I want 10 into 10 inches actually. So she asked me to select flowers. So I was selecting flowers. I, I selected a lot of flowers that I looked good, but she told it is not good. Then I told her you itself select. And then she selected these two, whatever uh, these two she selected. Uh, but I didn't like the yellow one. I wanted a different one. So I showed, uh, I asked for yellow, then I changed, I guess. So I asked for a border also because I feel this border makes it so beautiful. Uh, and uh, the border makes it so beautiful. There are not many people who are selling like this handkerchiefs for females. Uh, for men, it is there. So she she told you can select the catalog from there itself. Then started the haggling. Okay. So she told me the minimum order quantity is 30 pieces each print and color. Okay. So 30 pieces each, 95 rupees. That is a too steep for me. So I started uh, haggling with her. Can you, you can see this, the slice is less. Please give some discount. I'm starting right now. I have limited budget. You have to tell everything openly. Don't think of your pride when you're asking this because we have a limited budget and in that budget, what we can do is what we can do, right? So you have to ask for negotiate the price, okay? So I asked her, then she told uh, 12 into 12 inches. Uh, so again, I've changed it to 12 into 12 inches. So she told me I can't do that because I need quantity. So I told her I will do now, then I will give you quantity. She told then 40 pieces. First she told 30, then she told 40, then she will do it for 88 per piece. I told her I can't have so much stock there. I want to launch on November 25th. If I get sales, then I will be ordering more. So then she said uh, 30 pieces itself was high for me. Last she said 90, 30 each design. I had initially asked for three three designs. Then I told I can whether order only just one design. She told she needs two designs. Sorry if this is boring, but this is how the haggling happens. Wherever you can, you have to try to talk with them. Either decrease the MOQ, decrease the price, decrease the order number, whatever you can, you have to do. Okay. So then she told a uh, minimum two at least because I need to do it especially for you. So then uh, I told her uh, I wanted from each view of the India. So I don't have budget. I have only less budget. And if I spend everything on you, how can I do? Then she told, I also have tie and dye available. Then she showed me all those things I have not shared this year. So she has told her everything. And then again, I asked her once, uh, once again, two design 20 at 95. She said, no, she decreased it to 90 at least. So other than that, I couldn't haggle with her. So that is the end. This is the last order that I have placed with her now. 
90 into 60 pieces of napkin, 12 into 12 inches. The total cost is 6,090. 6, I have blown a huge hole into my pocket with this, but I think it's going to be worthwhile because the quality of this is so good, so good. And so, and there are no people selling it also. So I think this is good. So shipping, I thought I can do something else. Like I can pick it up and I can do it, but then I figured it out uh, Picking up also will not happen. So the price is 6,090 now. So I have uh, I have to tra transfer her 6,090 and that puts a dent in my budget. Let us go and see how much budget will I be losing it. So already I have uh, spent something. Now today is September 19. Order. Order. A hanky hanky order it's going to be 6090 so that is equal to b7 minus c9 i just have only 12000 i can't do anything else i guess so it's really tight now uh, i shouldn't uh, so i am not going to order any more samples from anyone else what I was thinking was this uh, this cloth is so good. So maybe I can get samples. I'm, I'm yet to ask her about that. I Once I ask her, I will tell you. This cloth is very good, very soft. So I'm thinking that I can get plain colors from this cloth and put it as another product. Okay, then I need one more product, which I'm planning to go to local market source, local uh, Madurai cotton and do something. I'm still not uh, finalized that. Now one product is finalized. That is the block print uh, hankies. So I'll be paying her today and I'll have only 12,000. So that's it regarding uh, the sourcing. And this is the cute pouch that my mom stitched for me. She has indeed done a great job in doing this. If you see, she has actually, I will just stop the share. She has actually uh, made a partition as well. So this is really good, but I can't make her to do a lot of things because she's also old. I can't, I just wanted a sample like this. Now that I have a sample, I'm planning to go to my local tailor and ask him to do something like this. At least five pieces so that I can have a minimal number of pieces for the launch. For the hanky pouch, it needs to be a little bit more uh, smaller. If you see here, uh, uh, it can it is a little bit uh, not correct. So I'll need more something. She did it. Uh, she is not a professional tailor, but she did her max. I'm so proud of her. And uh, so this is what she has done. So I will work on this also side by side. I need to first figure out, I need to take it to the tailor and ask him, uh, I am just thinking that I can wait until the set of hankies come in so that uh, now that today if I place order she told she will deliver it in two weeks or something like that. So when that comes, uh, when that comes to me, I'm thinking that I'll keep it as a sample and uh, do everything related to that. I will keep it and then work on this and get the correct size of the hanky. Then still the other things are there. The hanky pouch for used hankies i have to work on that also so we will work on that slowly tomorrow that now that the whole sourcing part is uh, around 50 percent done we have the rest of the things to do so we will do that and uh, figure out so product one is ready now so she has to send i'm thinking product two also and can ask the same uh, fabric itself so product two is ready i need to ready three more products which one is the pouch which one if i don't get to make the pouch the pouch for use hankies then i need to go to different things but let us see how i'm going forward so that's it regarding sourcing for today so let's go ahead and check out uh, the this one logo logo is actually deluding me a lot because i'm still not not happy with the logo that i've created uh, let us go and work it out uh, since this has a monkey that is the problem if it is something else then i would have cracked it by now but since this has the monkey it's uh, i'm really struggling a lot here so i just uh, my kids are my biggest uh, cheerleaders and i showed them this my daughter wanted a big monkey. She wanted make the monkey big, 
um, uh, otherwise uh, the monkey is so cute make it big so she wanted actually this one this one only she wanted she told this is what is good now we will create different um, different uh, uh, logos for this okay before that so i have a template if you want that template you can uh, check the link below i have a template that is called just a minute i'm just pulling that up it is a um, template for uh, for everything like um, it's uh, for God, branding template okay so my branding template uh, i have something i'll just show you so i have a template like this so whenever I'm free, I used to actually create uh, templates, uh, templates so that uh, whenever I, I want uh, um, some inspiration, I used to simply sit and create templates. So this was one template, just a minute. Uh, I had another one template, I'll just show you that. So I always used to sit and create, uh, just create logos for fun. And uh, the biggest uh, tough thing that I had is this logo because this is so tough. Otherwise, I used to keep on creating logos and it used to be so much fun. But this logo something is eluding me here because maybe it's because of the monkey. And uh, so what I'm planning to do is I, I think uh, I need a... a maybe later i need a good monkey not this monkey so i'm thinking i will just uh, give it to someone else later uh, so that they can create the monkey for me and give because this though this monkey is good i'm not uh, i need a white version black version like this this is something i created by myself a logo uh, i love creating logos i told you right so uh, even this, uh, everything I created by myself. Now, what we are going to do is I'm going to figure out whether this thing I can replicate with this monkey logo. Okay. So I, my main logo, what is going to be my main logo? Now, before that, what we need to do is we need to create, uh, uh, we need to create, uh, this will be the main uh, logo. So I'll just have to download this logo, all these things. I will just download this one first and uh, make a brand kit. Making a brand kit makes it so easy because uh, you just have to just put in it and it will pull up the colors and everything. So it's so damn easy. So what I'm going to do is now that uh, my hanky monkey is ready, I'm going to create a new folder called hanky monkey. Hanky monkey and uh, add logo. So for now, I think this logo is really good, but uh, uh, some, some things needs to be done. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is brand, you can see how many brands I have. I have so many brands. So now I'm going to add a new brand. Monkey Monkey. I love creating brands, logos and everything. That's why I am just, uh, I was, I thought this will be fun, but still, <laughs> I didn't realize that Hanky Monkey is going to drain me away because of the monkey. Okay, so hanky monkey, now it has pulled up the colors by itself. So I have got everything, a color palette, fonts, uh, I'll, uh, uh, now I'll use the title. I forgot what was this, so I'll just leave it for now. And then uh, this is done, okay. I can add more logos. For that, I need to download this. I think this can be... Uh, many of you have answered it very rightly. Thank you so much for that. What is Favicon? So many of you have answered it rightly. So for Favicon, I don't uh, need uh, this one. Oh no, it has come as a zip. Maybe download it as a zip. 
maybe download everything as a zip and keep it so that I can use it whenever I want it. So I think this will be the favicon and the Instagram. Now I'm going to again try it for the Instagram now so that we can see how it is. So once this is done, maybe the logo I will get it done at last. Still there will be work, but maybe, okay. So, so now what I will do is in my uh, brand uh, folder, you can see that there are photos, graphics, icons. So I think this will be my icon. This one monkey is there, no? So this will be my icon. So I'll just uh, transfer it there and keep it ready, okay? Now, what else can I, what other logos can I add? Because I need uh, more logos, right? Uh, this logo is good. I need to work on, now my hanky monkey, this is done, okay? Now what I'm going to do is brand board, not this one. So I'm going to go here. So this is actually the main logo. So we have the main logo. I'll just take off this. Now what I do is I go to the brand. I go to see how many brands I have. <laughs> Everything I, I just love, love creating brands. So my main logo might be this for the for the website. So the secondary logo will be this. Secondary logo will be this. Submark is what you use it as a this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this icon and put it as submark. So this color, I can maybe put it the colors that I have it for here or the colors, brand colors I didn't add, I guess. Oh no, I didn't add the colors. That's why it's not coming. So I will keep this, now it is added. So if you have a pro account, then it's super easy so that uh, so this is the color that I have. This will be my submark. What is submark? So today's question is, what is submark? Okay. Now this colors, I'm going to take it from here. I just started from the light color. Now I need to, this is my brand palette. Okay. So what is this color? I'm going to copy this color. So this is this is what you have you use everything like this in your uh, website in your uh, everywhere you use the same colors why because we need brand recognition right so this is a what do you call it? it's not coming for me it's a palette uh, branding uh, template wherein you have everything written. For example, if you are outsourcing your design to someone else, you give them this and tell them everything should be in this color palette and these are the logos that should, that has to be used. So they can easily do this. I, I think this is not necessary. So I just have four colors alone now. I can use this color just a bit. So if you can if you don't have if you don't have a pro account, what you can do is you can I, I I hope in other accounts this will be there. So for colors like this, what you do is you pick the color picker from here and take it and uh, put it like this so that the colors come here. Okay. So you can put it like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push these two colors this side. Sorry. Let it be. So, I, uh, 
what I'm thinking is all the browns to one side and this is to one side. So that uh, there is a synchrony of colors. So all the browns to one side and this pale color to one side. So now I'll have to pick up this color. So it makes your thing easy also. I've demonstrated in multiple times inside my community for people like how to use these colors and create their own logo, uh, their own post. I will be doing it for you when I come to uh, the Instagram part. Okay. So now we have done this. So uh, I have, I need to work on this a little bit more and uh, let us go and find out uh, if the Instagram alone is good for today and then just leave it for today because uh, we have done a lot of things today. I have created my color palette, color uh, branding uh, template, everything is ready. So now what I'm going to do is I'll stop my share. I'll go here. Now I have taken another one of my uh, my uh, mother-in-law's one. So can you see here? It looks good. So without the name I have put so that the name will be there on the profile picture and here there is no name. Ideally there should be name but it will make it so cluttered. Okay, can you spot the difference since I used it PNG with a uh, transparent background this is coming. So I need to go and download it again by having a white background. Okay, so always when you download it with transparent background, it will do good for, uh, um, it will be good for the website, but not for Instagram. Okay, so I, I've showed you the difference now, I guess. So now I'll show you with a different thing. So I will just share that and uh, show you here so that you know the difference. Because uh, always for uh, uh, for uh, Instagram, please have a, uh, have a background that is clear, white or plain colors. Don't use uh, shades of color or too cluttered, things like that. Okay. So now when I do this. So can you see here now? Can you see here now? It's a little bit big. And uh, in the uh, feed, we'll see how it comes. Okay. Can you see? It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. There is a monkey. There is something green on his hand. People will be... Uh, when, they, when they tend to see mine... Uh, when this comes with the hanky monkey, they will keep knowing what is this actually, okay? So that's it for today. We, I think I'm done with the logo. I don't want to work on it more and more, waste my time and energy because as and when I do, I might get some ideas. I can implement it again. No one is going to ask me, okay, logos, this only. No changes like that, right? So I can keep working on the logo. I would need a white and black logo from this but this is not possible with this because a white monkey or a black monkey will not look good so it has to be only the hanky monkey that is in white or black so that is the um, negative of this logo if you see for my little moppet i have a white version i have a color version i have a pink version i have the same thing with all the ones like for even ancient mother i can have a white i can have a uh, color i can have a black but for hanky monkey i can't have it because the monkey if it is black or white it won't look good that is the downfall of my logo maybe i'll sort it out later but for now i'm happy with the logo i'm ready to launch maybe when i get more money i can uh, do a brand uh, 
rebrand myself later but for now i'm happy and good we'll be going on to the next stage tomorrow we'll be working more on uh, this uh, sourcing and all those things i'm going to go to my local uh, market to see everything you can also come with me and see everything so that will happen this week maybe when i get time so let us see how it goes so that's it for now please don't forget the question what is submark please put it in the this below today we will announce the winners for last week keep following me thank you so much for your uh, support and everything the pal uh, the template for the branding palette will be down below please click and use it and uh, let me know okay thank you so much for uh, joining us today it has been a great day today i was happy because i have made a uh, made the order it has uh, done a bunch of uh, huge hole in my thing but it's okay and the logo also i'm done with it for now let me freeze the logo for now and then work on it later okay thank you so much so i'll see you tomorrow